Next lesson that's really important is ICOs. Incredible way to democratize access to early stage investing in a way that has never existed before. Participation in ICOs has turned, a, turned thousands of dollars into tens of millions at times. And that can sound really appealing. But if you look at all the ICOs that took place in 2017, half of them are dead only three months into the new year. ICOs are highly speculative investments. In fact, the most speculative investments that you can make in this space. To believe that you can bet big on one of them, I've seen a lot of people lose their shirts that way. It's about having a nuance and a holistic approach to this technology because there's a lot, a lot that can go wrong when investing in this new financial instrument, which is an ICO or initial coin offering. Lastly is a... So if you've been following this channel, uh, once again, he's uh, pretty much stating what I've stated in numerous videos that I wouldn't necessarily stay away from ICOs, but I would be very, very careful. I would make it a very small portion of my portfolio. I said 5 to 10%. And I would actually only really be comfortable investing in an ICO if I actually know people in the project. So if your college buddy, your dorm room, whoever, someone that you know is working on that project, I would then feel a lot more comfortable to, you know, put in some sort of large amount of sum. Now, if you're investing $50, $500, and obviously you have a lot of disposable income or you have a good amount of disposable income, then go for it. I mean, it's no big deal. And like I said, some of them, when they do hit, uh, they hit large. And the biggest one was is Ethereum. If you had got in on Ethereum's ICO, even right now in this market, you're still up, you know, 100, 100, uh, 100 times. So uh, if you want to get involved with that, just to educate yourself, I think that's another thing he didn't really mention that I would mention is really understand the technology, really understand what's going on. If you're just blindly investing, I really think that's a poor strategy. Um, so if you're going to go the ICO route, and I think a lot of people have lost their shirts. I mean, he just mentioned that 50% of them went bust in three months. So I'm pretty sure people have learned. And that's the one reason I wouldn't say completely stay away from ICOs, because it is a good learning opportunity, whether you lose $5 or $500. I mean, I would definitely maybe go with smaller uh, investment amounts if the ICO allows it. But it's still a good learning strategy. And uh, one thing I like to state all the time is uh, I have my MBA, Master's in Business Administration from the University of Southern California, USC, and that costed me 120 grand. So whenever I invest in a business, an asset, a stock or whatever, I always say, is this cheaper than what I paid for my education? And a lot of the times it's yes. And a lot of the times I'm going to learn more from my investments than I'm going to learn from sitting in a classroom or what I learned when I sat in the classroom. But uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.